Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to this week's flipping chat. Um, hope you guys are doing good. We are still working on Miss Arcade by Miss Holly from Diamond Art Club. Um, I have not really worked on the diamond painting since last week, unfortunately. I've been super tired from um, working. I'm glad to be back on doing that. A little disclaimer, you may hear me dogs at some point in the background. So I apologize if I may answer you do. How are you guys this week? I have just been working odd schedules. There's a hair on my campus. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I have been filling in for some of my coworkers while they go on vacation. Uh, we are short, short staff since. Uh, one of our other girls quit a couple of months ago. Um, so, okay. So, so um, I work part time there, so I've been having to fill in some days. You know, I'm really hoping that this week my schedule will be going back to normal. I do Saturday have to take my dogs and to go get groomed, which will be fun. I also plan to go see a movie with my with my fiance while we're waiting on them. It takes like three or four hours for them to get groomed. So when we go to one of the, the local outdoor mall here in one town over where I live, where, out where we live. That's a nice little outdoor wall. So maybe I'll take some, some videos of that. If I plan to go to the Barnes and Nobles out there. It's been a little while since I have hit up a bookstore. I have just been reading books off of uh, Kindle Unlimited. And off of the book that I have, so yep, that would be nice. I'm going to try to focus on just getting Mongas to read. I'm still thoroughly addicted to my Kindle. I got a Kindle Paper White uh, last year for a Black Friday sale. And I haven't been addicted to it ever since then. And I used to be a firm uh, paperback early, so I'm really into using my Kindle. I can read read in bed easier with it. I can just take my Kindle with me. I have it on like I don't know if I mentioned this before or not. I might have I'm passing. I have it on like a little goose night next to my monitor or my PC. You know. So I can read off of that while, while I'm gaming or I'm just on my computer. So that's fun. I have not done very much in the way of the TV watching. I have just been re-watching Everybody Loves Raymond. Um, it's a comfort sitcom for me. So 
I tend to rewatch. I have I tend to have a few go to sitcoms that I will rewatch over more than once. And that one was the one that I have been wanting to watch. So that's what I've been doing. I am on season four right now. I'm like halfway on it. As far as Wizards is going, uh, I finally got the last piece of gear that I had been farming for last night. It was such a relief to not have to continuously farm the same boss over and over again. Farming on Wizard is just repeatedly defeating the same boss over and over again to get a certain item in game and I needed the myth robe or a myth wizard and uh I got only that in last night I was so happy it was such a such a relief so I will be continuing on the quest line they have those girls that my two wizards have Two more worlds until they're completely maxed out. And then I will be working on my death and my storm wizards after I finish that. So it'll still be a little while. I have been working on those for like three years now since 2021. So. They have come along where they are no, no longer my new characters. Do you have a game that you like to continuously play on a regular basis? I don't know. I just started playing uh, Disney Dream Valley, Dream, Disney Dreamlight Valley on. Um, Game on my PC, and I'm thoroughly really enjoying it. Steam has a uh, sale going on for their games right now, so the game the the game that I wanted was uh, at a really good price, so. I end up getting it. Do you have a game that you're stressing over on on whatever console that you're playing on that you play on? I don't know. I will still continue on with the hockey romance books that I had found last week. Uh, I had finished the first, the one of them, and I had started the second one. It, they're really good. Um, the last one I had finished was Mason and Harper's story. Uh, there's a lot of tension and enemies to lovers kind of tropes in there. Uh, there's a lot of character develop character death to them too. Uh, there's autism in there as well as Elias, I am not sure. I am pro I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But the um, the one disease that I uh, can't eat gluten with. So that was really nice to see some characters with some personality to them. And lately, I have been 
just gonna hit our most characters on the books that I have been reading where they don't have like enough of a personality or anything like that or a hobby that they're obsessed over. I have not gotten very much farther in my rewatch of Inuasha. I still need to continue with season three of Welcome to Demon's Bowl. Um, I just have not been in a anime mood lately. I have only really been focusing on really just rewatching it where anybody lives Raymond honestly. It's the only thing I really have done. I haven't had much time to do much of anything else. Unfortunately. So. I hope you enjoyed this week's Whipping Chat. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I hope to hear from you in the comments. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.